Hi, I'm Doris Visco, a member of the Henry Ford Community College Foundation Board of Directors. On behalf of the Foundation, I would like to thank you for visiting our homepage and donating to those scholarships that help our well-deserving Henry Ford Community College students. The Foundation manages a program of over 300 donor-funded scholarships. They include endowed funds, annual scholarships, and scholarship programs funded by such Foundation events as the Mike Adry and Bev Duquette Golf Tournaments. Your donations help so many students continue and complete their education, moving them in the direction of professional success. This program includes the important contributions of three groups of people, the donor, who helps fund the scholarship award, the associate dean and faculty, who work directly with the students daily, and the students, who often face challenges juggling family, school, and work responsibilities. We will highlight the importance of each contributor and show you how their relationships are intertwined. I'm honored to be able to say that I've been a part of the nursing profession for 37 years. Um, my mother was a nurse. I knew, knew as I was growing up that nursing was a passion or going to be a passion of mine. My confusion came when I was in high school when I found out about teaching. And I was really ambivalent teacher, nurse, teacher, nurse. And it wasn't until I was in college that I had an advisor said, well, why don't you teach nursing? And I went, what a wonderful thought. So I pursued that and I have been active in teaching nursing 30 some odd years now. So I've been involved in educating the next generation of nurses. Henry Ford Community College was one of the innovations of the associate degree program. We were one of the seven pilot programs in the 1950s that started um, the whole movement towards associate degree pathway towards nursing education. Um, so we've been around for a while as one of the innovators of the whole concept. Our student ranges from the early 20s, which is the traditional community college student right out of high school, um, all the way through people who are choosing this as a second career. We see them as single parents. We see them as um, living with their mom and dad still, the traditional, all the way through the, the single mom who's trying to balance a career and work and meeting the needs of her children all at the same time. We see an increase in men. We've doubled the number of men in our program in the last three years. We're now up to about 15%. For my nursing students, when I see them, um, they're usually at a point where, to them, if, if they don't get help, they will not be able to continue. And this is something they've wanted to do, but maybe children came first, or maybe there was a divorce, or other issues that were impacting their lives. And this is their future, to get themselves going where they want to be with their lives. And so the financial help is a tremendous, tremendous relief for them. Initially, healthcare profession was something that I wanted. It was. Uh intrigued by sports medicine, went to school and educated in sports medicine, was on a track to become a doctor, and met my husband. Things changed, got married, had kids. And when my children were born, I realized that the component that was missing from being a doctor was found in being a nurse. Because I had twin daughters, it was difficult to make sure that they were um, clothed and diapers are very expensive so most of it was a monetary struggle but thanks to the Dean and to Henry Ford Foundation I was able to seek out funding and scholarships and monies that would help me along that track and because they were backing me it made me try all that much harder to say yes I am here and I'm seeking an education thank goodness I have a wonderful support system not just in my family but also through the faculty and staff here at Henry Ford. I went to the emergency at Beaumont Hospital for pain in my stomach, and I found out it was my appendix, and they wanted to remove it. It was my first time undergoing surgery, and I didn't have any support there with me. I was scared, and it was just like the comfort and the compassion of the nurses that got me through the surgery. And right then and there, I just knew that I want to be a nurse because they made such a difference and I want to make a difference in someone's life also. I was just laid off from work and I was having problems with childcare. And I went to Dean Howe and I told her about my situation and she was able to help me with funding. Without it, I wouldn't have been able to come to class, 
I don't know where I would be. I wouldn't be a second year student. They're very supportive here. It's a great school. I have friends that went here and graduated from the nursing program and they told me good things about it. Not everybody has parents who can afford to fund their education. And the students' desire for opportunity is very compelling and it makes me write that check every year. These dollars are spent with great meaning and great purpose. And I think that the scholarships not only pay a bill, but they give hope and encouragement to the people that get them. These stories are just a snapshot of the hundreds of stories about scholarships at Henry Ford Community College, all of them different but equally compelling. Even though tuition at Henry Ford Community College remains among the most affordable in higher education, our students still struggle with cost. The majority are on financial assistance in some form. Scholarships often provide the necessary funds to help them achieve their career choices. To each and every foundation donor for all you do for Henry Ford Community College and our students, we say thank you. You have distinguished yourself through your generous philanthropic support. I'm Doris Biscoe.